folks. Hopefully you can hear me over all this annoying vehicle noise, but today is Thursday, April 18th. It is 4.33 p.m. and about 13 degrees Celsius, and you are overlooking the Don Valley parking lot. Mary W, Reeboks Pro, Yogi, Arg Scott, Pinesel, Cam, Harjot, Vivian Johnson. We've got some mods and awesome viewers here. And I am here at the Queen Street Viaduct. I just finished recording a walk that ended right here and I thought this would be a good spart, spart, spot <laughs> to start up a live stream. Gillian Fox, MEIM Jet Set 18 is here. I'm gonna make sure my backpack is all zipped up. Before we get up and start strolling along here. And that's a look towards downtown, but for this one, we're gonna go through Leslieville. That guy has ridden his bike back and forth along the sidewalk here like five or six times. Maybe he's just getting some exercise in. But we are leaving downtown. I just want to see one more thing in my backpack. Make sure I have my mic, my other mic. As that has the audio recording on it for the video I just recorded. There was just an incident up ahead between a Tesla and a cyclist. And a cop was kind of dealing with the cyclists as I walked by in my video, but that seems to have just cleared up. What's up, Sammy Wu, Adrian, Rosie Land. He thinks I'm looking to buy. All right, we are strolling into Leslieville. Oh, there's the guy. I don't want to look too nosy, but that was the guy dealing with the cop. I don't want to get a close-up of him or anything. I know it's not right, but I see a Tesla was involved and I immediately assume it was the Tesla driver's fault. It's not fair to think like that. I'm human. So we are moving towards Broadview. There goes a 503 Kingston Road streetcar. Rohan says Johnny strides high. So I'm going out for dinner after this. I had to get out of the apartment for a while because I scotch guarded my new sofa. So I've got my air purifier right next to it with the filter, the chemical removing filter in it. And I've got the window wide open. And I left my place for a while. There's a new mural I haven't seen. At least I think it's new. Good afternoon, John Burke, Chair. I do have my coat in my backpack. It is cooling off. And we're in the Riverside District. Hello, Lee's Fox. Dave and Banger, Maine. Hello from a cloudy Bermuda. 
Bermuda. That sounds good any time of year. Welcome to Riverside. I thought Riverside started over on the Queen Viaduct. Blunted Isle Cannabis. Oh, that's awesome, Mary W. I have never been there. Jeanette in the house. Happy Thursday afternoon to you down in Houstonia, in beautiful Houston, Texas. This is Hamilton Street. been a while, I think a few months since I went through here. Riverside Burgers. Walk-in special, cheeseburger fries in a pop, $14.95. If it's a good burger, it's not a terrible price. streetcars there is an excellent place to grab a drink prohibition and this used to be a notorious well we can just call it what it is or was a strip club but it's now been restored to the Broadview Hotel oh that's a 508 Lakeshore streetcar that streetcar will be going all the way over to the end of the earth. That'll be going to Long Branch. Hey, Rihanna Kamada. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. My Japanese characters are a little rusty. Thank you so much for the 200 yen. Thank you very much. Hope you've enjoyed the enjoyed <laughs> these Akira trees. I think I suffered some kind of brain damage from having COVID so many times. I remember always mispronouncing so many words. Yeah, we'll blame it on COVID and not me getting old and senile. So just to the south of here is Eastern Avenue. David Warren, holy cow. Look how close this bus is getting. David Warren, thank you ever so much. $40, holy shit. Thank you, David Warren. As we continue east on Queen Street, we've certainly been on Broadview a number of times. This year, I think I've streamed along Queen Street East here once. Uh, thank you, David. So Riverside ends at the rail corridor. This is all part of South Riverdale, but at the rail corridor, the Leslieville neighborhood begins. And that goes to about Coxwell. Reading in Stabmar. There's the Opera House right next to Real Greek Euros. Or gyros, as the noobs would say. Haunting Life says, did I get a haircut? Negative. I'm in need of a haircut. I'm also in need of a facility, but I think I can hold off. Little peeps. No clothing for Little ends. Hey, we hit 200 viewers. Good stuff, thank you guys. Just a friendly reminder to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell if you wanna be notified when I go live next. Typically about three times or four times a week. Or in this case, three times over the last three days, if you wanna count last night.
a free one of these things. It's the Irish Design House. Kayleen from Bogota, Colombia. Greetings, Kayleen. Camp says the gloomy weather is depressing. Or, you know, it's just spring. All the street parking blocking our view of the streetcar. There's a library and a beautiful old building. And I quite like this mural over there. Wuhan already liked the video, thank you. Nate D checking in. What's up, Nate D? Thanks for tuning in. Victor says the weather in Winnipeg keeps disappointing. There is La Carnita. Something big is going on. <laughs> that kid was asking if there's celebrities as part of this film shoot. Oh wow. This is Bolton Avenue. Something's going on. They're using Boxcar Social Riverside. Got the big lights out. They must be making a high budget YouTube's video. It's not something I would know anything about. John Burke asking, how was my lunch at Ikea? You guys saw my lunch at Ikea. I streamed it. I didn't eat there in the video I posted this morning. Bully. Oh, it looks like the sidewalk is closed here. Or, I think we can just divert around. This is Degrassi Street, where the show The Kids of Degrassi Street was based on, although they spelled it slightly differently. I think they even filmed the odd scene on the street itself. Johnny, order a pizza again if you want. No. I'm feeling like maybe a Euro's pita for dinner. Ooh, that's a tight squeeze, that streetcar and that construction truck. Jeanette, $7 for <laughs> my next hot dog Ikea lunch. And those are seven American dollars. How many hot dogs do you want me to eat, Jeanette? <laughs> Thank you so much for the seven dollars for my next IKEA hot dog lunch. There's Jimmy Simpson Park. If you're just tuning in, we're walking east on the north side of Queen Street East. 
through Leslieville. I see a bench. I'm gonna go put my camera down for a second and just throw my jacket on. Johnny, I would crush it at eating in a hot dog contest. No, I wouldn't. I could eat like two really fast and then that's about it. I'm just gonna put my camera down and we're gonna put my coat on. Fix the camera angle. And this break in the stream is brought to you by Johnny Stumbles. For half-assed, unprepared streams, tune in to Johnny Stumbles every Sunday night at 8 p.m. EST, except for when he doesn't feel like doing it or when he's on vacation, which has been quite a bit this year so far. all good. I'm just putting on my coat. I'm gonna fix the hoods. We'll be moving in a second. The person next to me is like, I think this guy has mental problems. He's talking to himself. She might not be wrong. All right. I could not possibly have any more tissue paper in these coat pockets. <sighs> Hi Jess, what's good with me? I don't know. But I do know we're about to get the show back on the road. The camera. And we will get moving. Greeting Sheena. Sal Smith is here. Thanks for bearing with me. Mario, someone saying, please respond. I can't get to all the chats during a stream. So there's my response. Hello, Smith L. So we are to the east of downtown. That's an excellent Mexican restaurant, by the way. Walking through Leslieville, which runs to Coxwell. Frankie's, $12 pizza special, $5 beer, $7 wings, Rebox Pro, $2. I'll, I'll bet $100 you don't mod me. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about, Rebox Pro. But uh, thank you <laughs> so much for the $2. Thanks for your support. Mike Landry, $3. Mike says, hello, Johnny and everyone in the chat. Mike, thank you so much, Mike. Much appreciated, Mr. Landry. April feature, White Lotus. Do I do it? Do I get some Craig's cookies? Yeah, I'd like to be able to do those pull-ups one day. I really like this part of town.
And we're over 300 viewers. Thank you guys. Camps is all spoil my dinner. Well, I'd put them in my bag and eat them later. But I will be eating out tonight. I'm trying not to go home as I scotch guarded my couch and my apartment is probably very carcinogenic right now. Veterinary Hospital. Oops. Hello, True Northman. I see Remy. Checking in from Thailand. It's hard to believe I've already been to Thailand twice this year. And here's a staple of the neighborhood. Reliable fish and chips since 1930. It briefly closed and there were fears that it was gone forever. But it was saved and reopened. Every time I walked by here, someone would always mention. Oh, check this out. If I get a copyright strike for that, I'm going to retire from YouTube. As we are at Carla Avenue. Sadly, someone was hit by a stray bullet right around here last year. If you can remember, I walked by the crime scene shortly after. I guess your daughter is going to UFT this fall, so you watch my channel? Awesome. Well, I hope she has a wonderful time at UFT and welcome in advance to the city of Toronto. Marco Ferry House, welcome to Silver Tier. Welcome, Marco. And that reminds me, the uh, channel members list on tomorrow's video will not be correct. I'm going to have to go back and fix that. I apologize. Uh, the video's already been uploaded. I see Remy 69 Thai Bot. Thank you from Thailand. Copen Krup, is it? Or Copen Cup? All right, thank you so much for the 69 Thai bot. If you haven't guessed, Thailand is one of my favorite countries. I see Hoka's, I see Saucony's, New Balance, A6. I do not see my brand of choice in this store. All you guys saw was the glare of the window, though. We'll get moving here. the South Riverdale Health Center. She says no ultras, spelled A-L-T-R-A-S. Baldini. Is that where someone said they had a 
pizza earlier. Okay, I'm asking if it's as cold as yesterday. Similar. Hey now, art fans, we've got a mural behind me. Looks a little faded. And this is Boston Avenue. Sal Smith says screaming into a pillow is very underrated. I don't know if I've ever done that. Quick, clean center, self-service laundry. Giggles, I love the name. Queen and Jones pawnbrokers. Oh, <laughs> all right, Mary W. Busted. And we're at Pape. Good old Pape. Which is a quiet residential street down in these parts, but Pape Village is quite lively and busy north of Danforth. All right, Lisa, enjoy your aimless wanders. Slash hand at sourdough pizza. Slow hand sourdough pizza, I read it wrong. Oops. Toronto to Zagreb on Air Transat. Air Transat's not terrible. In fact, I've had better luck with them flying internationally than I have with Air Canada, even though they don't give you free booze and they tend to nickel and dime you. But I guess they are more of a budget airline. There's Jack Layton Seniors Housing on the left. I'm sure it's a much needed facility. I just hate the way it meets the sidewalk here. We have a wine rack. There's a 501 or sorry, westbound Queen Street car. Things are a bit quieter throughout this stretch of Leslieville. Seriously, Leslie says free booze in Air Canada. Yeah, any non-budget airline overseas will give you free booze. I think it's just the flights to the US and possibly the Caribbean where you won't get that. Greetings, whippy dude. Remarkable bear. That place looks very familiar. I went into that place live streaming once because I had to use the facility and I bought a drink from them, an iced latte. And I used their salle de bain. B&B Fish and Chips. Heinzel says the door's open. Toronto list is out. Neat. I'll have to check that out. Mm. 
Mark D in the house, greetings. There's Dave's hot chicken. And I think this is the street with the crazy dollhouse. Yeah, Burt Mount. We're gonna pass on that today, but I assure you I will be back at some point. Dave's very expensive hot chicken open late. I was excited when one opened up in Midtown and I went there a few times. And I saw my visa bill and I was like, um, you gotta stop going to Dave's Hot Chicken. Literally go to a pub, sit down, order and pay a tip and it would be cheaper. Leslieville is beautiful. Is it like that James Blunt song? Greetings MP411. Tango Palace Coffee Company. They're doing a nice business in there. It's the Leslie Grove Park on the left. And I think the most famous Leslieville mural coming up right at Jones Avenue. Brad Palmer is here. Happy Thursday to you, Brad. Thank you for tuning in. And Marie Palmer. Ooh, I just walked into a sign sticking out of a garbage can. As Alexander Muir, who penned the Maple Leaf Forever in that mural. There's a Radical Road Brewing, pretty excellent spot. Raise the Root Organic Market. I think this is where some other YouTubers went and got some pizza, Descendant Detroit style pizza. Vintage and Collector Records. Was it Ken who went there? Mm. Hey, we've got over 400 viewers. Thank you very much. And we are 34 minutes in. We're gonna go by a really old school gas bar in a moment. You know, it's good enough. It's good enough. Yeah, yeah, Greek Bistro. Noto, Leslieville. I've heard a boot at that place. And coming up is Leslie Street in a block. But first we're gonna go by Sun Gas Services. Full serve gas, 179. What a blast from the past this place is. I'm gonna pass past you, idiot. But look at it. Would you know you were in a vibrant neighborhood in Canada's busiest and largest city? Walking past that place. There's the Queen's Head. I've had a few drinks there. Post softball before. Like, you go out to a party with your friends and they're drinking and you're not. There's the Duke. It's a very well-known spot.
Yes, that's a giant nose sticking out of that building. So just south of here is the Leslie Street Spit. And you can head down into Tommy Thompson Park. I see Remy will sponsor my future trip to Bangkok, Thailand. That's not something I will say no to. One of my favorite cities, I'm sure I'll be back. I was there in February and again in March. If you're serious about that, shoot me an email and we can discuss. I'm always open to offers to gallivant around the world. Stephen Hill, hello. There's a gorgeous little residential street. Old school barbershop with the pole. Apparently that pole used to mean that they were also a surgeon. And if it was spinning, the surgeon would be there. So if you needed any type of work done, you'd go to the barber shop. I learned that from Pawn Stars. Greetings, Fernando. All right, I see Remy. Thank you. Objectives and our objectives. So one of my favorite bars that was forced to close down was Betty's. And there is Betty's East. It lives on in that old automotive looking building. Sadly, it's a bit out of the way. I'm not a fan of coming out to this area kind of annoying to get to. The streetcar, even when it's running uninterrupted, is kind of pokey. Andy Wood says dentists were sometimes the only doctor available. If you want to see something freaky, check out the street dentists in India on YouTube. These people just getting teeth pulled and work done on busy sidewalks by people with dubious credentials. What's my email? Uh, it's, I haven't checked my email in a while, but it is johnnystrides at gmail.com. You can also find it in the about section of this channel. Johnny is way better than the lady who talk, who walks the crooked gimbal and only talks about herself for four hours. Says Timothy the Hippo. I wouldn't know who that is. But I think all the people who do this are pretty neat in Toronto. I've met Henry, Ken of course. Sapan, Epic Nation HD. Lizzo. There's a few I haven't met. They all seem like very nice folks. There's the flying squirrel motorcycle. Janice S, welcome back. Is someone honking at this can of post truck for simply Waiting for a safe time to turn left. That's true, Sal Smith. Sometimes I talk about myself a bit, but 
these streams are about exploring the city together. The Johnny Stumbles channel, if you wanna be bored by my personal life, tune in <laughs> to those live streams. There's KFC. Greetings, Kramer. Not in service, how dare you? This is Greenwood Avenue. Ahmed, Toronto is pretty, pretty good today. There's Dang Smoke Barbecue. Miss Breakfast, grab a sidekick. So I think at Coxwell, we're gonna head north. That kid seemed pretty amped to stumble upon a dandelion. Maru, sushi and kitchen. TTC streetcar yard. There's another one just southwest of here. <laughs> Thanks, Timothy. Henry's a super friendly dude. And I bet he has a higher step count than I do. Whoa. So we are about to walk by a historic property, the Ashbridge Estate. The Ashbridge family has a number of parks and places named after various people in that family. And this is their old estate. They used to be the major landowner in this area. They came here from Pennsylvania and began clearing the land out in the late 1700s. And I think this house is undergoing some kind of restoration. There's also Ashbridge's Bay to the south of here. Oh, look at this dog. Woodfield Road. Chicken Joy, love at the first bite. And it says laggy, yeah, we may have hit a... Hi Johnny. Oh, hello. This is for you, it's just hot chocolate. Oh, wow. I know you like chocolate. I live across the street here. My husband oh. said you were on live, so... Well, nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm having a bit of a connection issue in this neighborhood. Oh no. Oh, that's it's, it's too bad. Were you watching? That's, that's where I live, right over there. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it just started skipping, but. Oh well, no. Hey, it seems to have smoothed out. Oh, good. Well, nice to meet you. Nice Thank you so much. You. Would I know you in the chat? Uh, 
I'm not sure. Uh, would be under my husband. Oh. Well. Yeah. Should be just Billy J. Coops. Well, yeah. nice. I'll enjoy this. Have a great day. Cheers. Hope the sun comes out soon. <laughs> Actually, the sun presents challenges though. You don't like the camera. I'm happy with this. <laughs> All right. We got some hot chocolate from a friendly viewer. Sorry for the, uh, the buffering. We got to get out of this bad connection area. Yeah, we're losing a lot of viewers too. That'll happen. I once walked by here and there was a couple of viewers in here. Sorry about that guys. There's not much I can do when we hit a rough patch. Connection wise, but keep moving and hope we hit greener pastures. Let me run a speed test on here. Also, one sec. All right, I seem to have enough upload speed now. We should not be having a, a connection problem. I turned off my external microphone. Sometimes there can be some interference with that. Can you guys let me know if you can hear me okay? I think I have enough upload speed now. We should not be having a... All right, so we just hit a rough patch, connection-wise, but we ran into a very friendly viewer who dropped off this bag here, which has hot chocolate mix. Ooh, this looks like good stuff. White hot chocolate mix, double truffle hot chocolate. Wow. We might have to have some of this on the Sunday Night Stumbles. And a granola bar. Well, Bill and your wonderful wife, thank you so much. I'm gonna put this in my backpack. Maybe we'll have one on a Sunday night stream. He stumbled, yeah, I stumbled into a black hole where Rogers was not being very nice to me, but we seem to be back up in action here. And a granola bar on the full go, yes. Thank you, Jeanette. Let's see. I'm re-enabling my wireless microphone. Let's see what this does. It is not connecting. Oh well, we'll stick with the uh, built-in mic. Thank you to everyone who 
stuck around. Someone's saying my voice is a little quieter. Yeah, the wireless mic is not connecting. I'm not going to deal with that. Andy Woods says not much choice between Rogers and Bell. Well, there's TELUS, but no matter where you go in the city, you're going to hit dead spots. Oh well, we are rocking the built-in microphone now. Dingus says you'd wait <laughs> forever. This is Craven Road. Craven Road has a fence going up half of it. There's a really interesting story behind it. I featured that in a couple of videos before. Thank you, Sheena. I think the audio should now be in stereo, actually. Sunset Marketplace. So coming up is Coxwell. We're gonna head north here. Thank you, Van Gambler. We had a little technical meltdown, but we've recovered. Thank you to the 316 of you who have stuck with it. Thank you, Vivian, for confirming. Oh, look at that. There's a really neat bicycle mural on there. My outfit kind of gives TTC vibes. Does it? DT Aquarium. So we have reached the end of Leslieville. Just up ahead is the Beaches neighborhood. We're going to head north up Coxwell here. You think it's the armband and hat combo? I'm not wearing an armband. Claudius says no monkey bars. If we see monkey bars, maybe there will be some monkey bars. But we're no longer on a busy retail strip street. Maybe when I get to Gerard, we can pass through Little India. It's been a while. Awesome neighborhood. How do I rate it? Eight out of ten. If it weren't for the hokey Queen Streetcar transit connection, I would like it better. But that viewer who met me and dropped off that delicious looking hot chocolate lives in a fantastic place. Hello, Morgan. Where am I headed? <laughs> we started on the Queen Street Viaduct and I headed east through Riverside. And then into the awesome Leslieville. Now we're heading north up Coxwell. And when I get to Girard, we might pop through Little India because why not? Yeah, these are not armbands. Not 
Marco, yes, we were <laughs> nearing 500 when my connection decided to go. I don't know, Claudia, the packaging makes them look real good. And that granola bar is something I'll keep in my backpack. And I'm sure it'll get consumed out on one of my walks. Mexi Cannabis. We are at Dundas Street East. There's the big police station. I quite like the looks of this development on the corner. All right, Andy Wood. I was riding a Dutch style bike. Hello, Lorene. That's a look west along Dundas. We are making our way to the Gerard Street India Bazaar. That copper didn't signal his turn. Write yourself a ticket. Hello, Chris Mills. And Carlos. We've been streaming for an hour now, minus a few minutes when the lights went out. Heading north up the west side of Coxwell. There's some funky homes on Coxwell, I think just up here on the right. Look how tiny these guys are. Oops. And one of the most interesting homes in the city is coming up. We're gonna Frogger to go see it. Frogger on super easy mode. How about that for a bit of an oddball property? Sheena, two words, Murphy bed. A Monker playground. Let's get our ass back over. <laughs> Is that a Pop-Tart box? It might be. There's some more tiny homes. Possibly built as old workers' cottages. 
you'll see a more distinct style of those in Cabbage Town. That sign has a very hearty message for the Prime Minister in the window. <laughs> There's a middle finger. We are almost at Girard, where I'm going to make a left and we're going to head west. All right, Jeanette, have yourself a wonderful evening and thanks for the seven hot dogs that <laughs> you super chatted for me earlier. It's a really good brewery just here, a brew pub just on the left called Godspeed. The last time I went here, they were serving Japanese food. I haven't been here in quite a while. at this very colorful wall so turn left to go on to Gerard Street turn right to go on to Eastwood Road Gerard actually continues a few blocks north of here on a stretch known as Upper Gerard and that is where that 506 Carlton streetcar is headed but well, welcome to Little India I've been meaning to come back to this neighborhood and record a regular walking video through here. I am here, apparently. Sal Smith says there was an old Bargain Heralds we walked by. I just have to fire off a WhatsApp message one second. Or not. They hold a big street festival here every year. It's the two headed dog. Goopy Palace.
Koto Sushi. It's a very colorful neighborhood. The most colorful shot is just coming up on the right or on the left. Big as the Beaches Jazz Festival. There it is. Hello, sir. Would you like to have something? No, thank you. And there, that used to be a feeder. And back in the 70s, it was the first home of Bollywood in Canada. And it's been converted into apartments since then. I almost said, sadly, it's been converted into apartments, but in a city in dire need of housing, who am I to criticize that? Still, it'd be cool if it was a preserved old theater. We're running out of those. MP411 says the color is so awesome. I'll come back here during the street festival and we'll stream. We're about to go by my favorite part of Little India, the back-to-back -back Desi Burger restaurants. Good afternoon, John. Islamic Books and Souvenirs. Leela Indian Food Bar. If you're wondering why the audio is different, I had to disconnect my wireless mic if you're just tuning in. Greetings, Crescent Art Designs. We have the Burger Station. Desi Burger. Right next to Desi Burger. And the Lahore Tikka House, a very popular Pakistani restaurant here, is closed. We apologize for the inconvenience. We hope to reopen soon. place is probably the most well-known restaurant in this area. Sheena asking if they're related? I have no idea. Burgers, wraps, kebabs, fries, shawarma. Sorry if the wind noises are picking up a bit. It's 
not much I can do about that. Hello, Liberty Tree. There's the Dubai meat shop. As we are leaving Little India. This is Greenwood coming up and a few weeks ago I live streamed going south down Greenwood I think on my way to the Beaches Parade or the Beaches Easter Parade. And if you can remember Ryan Rides, I think he lived right around the corner from here. I think he changed his YouTube channel. So I haven't seen or heard from him in quite a while. And I think he lived just to the south of Greenwood. And Gerard here. I think someone just waved out of the car. I missed it. Sky Blue Studio. Fata moto, moto scooters. That'd be 19 to go into that vape shop. As we get to Greenwood, this block is a picker upper, <laughs> says John. Well, I wasn't lying when I said this was a live stream around Leslieville. A very quiet stretch of storefronts here. I suspect people are probably living in these, given that they're all draped or curtained off. But if you're just tuning in, we are now heading west along the south side of Gerard Street East. Eventually, I'm going to head north up to a subway station. I think I'll order some dinner. I'll try to time it so it's ready to pick up. When I get there. Neat, Christina. Lisa is home. Johan says, please eat it. <laughs> You've seen me eat on stream recently enough.
as we continue to trek west along Girard here. I'm not sure if I'll go live tomorrow. I often go live on Fridays, but it might be Saturday or Sunday. We're at Hastings Avenue. So the next major street coming up will be Jones Avenue. And we are back to Leslie Street. I'm just thinking where my next move will be. That's Riverdale Collegiate Institute across the street, a huge high school. And we are near Gerard Square. I did a video through there a few weeks ago, actually. I don't think I'll be getting all the way to East Chinatown. But if you were to keep going west on Gerard here, you would find yourself in East Chinatown. The lesser known and more underrated of the two Chinatown neighborhoods in Toronto. Smokers Mart, your independent milk retailer. There's a banh mi restaurant. So the 
Gerard Square Mall is just coming up. Little London Barbershop. And a Deenan. Demean. And I think they have comedy at this place coming up. The Grand Gerard. Natalie, no, we are very far from Parkdale. Well, they had comedy. There's been nothing going on there since 2020. Boba tea and poke bowl. Hana Ramen. LAB, it is. We just left little India. Still in Leslieville. This mall is doing very well for such a small regional mall. It's got a Home Depot, a Staples, a Winners, a Walmart. There's a big grocery store in there. It's the Maddie Eckler Playground. And yep, there's the McDee's. Chris's and all used to be a Zeller's. Doot, doot, doot. Good evening, Midnight Express. No, we are not going into the mall. Not enter. They didn't seem phased. Well, let's head over to this pedestrian bridge where you can catch a pretty sick view of the city. Evan, five dollars. Still waiting. Well, I don't want to get run over by a car here. Still waiting for more greenery and leaves on the trees, but nice spring weather. Thanks for a nice walk, Johnny. Thank you, Evan. Thank you so much for the super chat. It is certainly appreciated. We're gonna go get a pretty Neat view of the skyline. I recorded a video through here not too long ago. And I ran into some viewers on the bridge. When am I going to London, Ontario? I didn't know I had any plans to do that. If I'm there, maybe I'll pull out the camera, but 
that's not on the bingo card for this year. Some cool retail right there. Jerry L, $10 just because I'm awesome. Well, we'll get a better view of the skyline in a minute. But <laughs> I don't know about awesome, but thank you so much for the support. Ooh, we got a go train. Here's a look at the mall. Here's that awesome view made a little worse by a condo that has popped up. Thank you again, Jerry L. Sheena says, great skyline view. It is. You definitely have to use the zoom on your camera. Speaking of which, let me unzoom. We'll take another view of it. From this angle. And straight ahead is a doomed shopping plaza. All right, how much longer can we stare at a skyline? be a subway line ripping through here eventually. I think that's what some of this work is being done on the left for. The Ontario line will use this corridor. That No Frill Supermarket, I think, is closing on April 20th. Just on the bottom right, or I guess in the center of the shot. Where am I? I'm on the Pape Pedestrian Bridge. And I'm about to pull out an app and start looking at food options. Trump 2024. Let's see, 
very weird looking flag on the left. It's also a very weird sentiment for a Canadian to be displaying. Well, I'm assuming they're Canadian. Sal Smith asking if I carry bear spray. <laughs> I think it's best I not disclose what, if anything, I'm carrying. Are they lost yet? Even if you were a Trump supporter. Why are you putting that over your balcony in a country that is not America? Sal Smith, that is paid public school, but it is surrounded by construction hoarding and the remake of Stephen King's It was filmed at this house. Well, they used another house for the exterior. Apparently, this was the perfect place. It's since had an addition. It's a women's shelter now. Private property, no trespassing. No problemo. I just want to use your fence to put my camera on it for a moment. House is losing the no frills. Well, they have the food basics there, but in the news people were complaining that it wasn't as good. The Loblaws at Broadview is turning into an no frills. You live in this area, that's a uh, place you likely find yourself. This break is brought to you by. I wanted to order some food. Okay, we'll order this very soon. Oops. Damn it. There we go. What do you guys want to do? Watch my feet. Jelly Bean asking, do I ever order from a person? Not really, unless I'm sitting down at a restaurant. Problem when you order from people these days at takeout is they always ask for tips and it's super duper awkward. Like, I came into here. This is takeout. Why are you asking for a tip? You go to Subway and the damn thing prompts you for a tip and they watch you anxiously. They give you a look of disapproval when you back out of the tip.
you know, disrespect to service workers, but unless someone goes really above and beyond, takeout has always been a super duper optional tipping experience. Like, it's kind of ridiculous everywhere you go now. I'm surprised convenience stores don't ask you for a tip when you check out. Camps said the same thing at food courts. Yeah, if they make you something off menu or you can tell they went above and beyond. Or in the old days when you used to have actual change in your pocket and they had a tip jar. I think that guy was casing that vehicle. Did you see him? He just walked right up and like peered into the window. I'm not gonna assume. There's a beautiful looking tree. All right, I think it's time to pull the trigger. And order my dinner. Where will I be going? That's the hundred million dollar question. View order. You're saving with Uber One. I have Uber One? Oh man, I didn't know. Okay, so let me make sure I'm getting this right here. Yeah, that looks like I'm getting it right. Place your order. Yeah, let's pay with uh, Google Pay. Honk, honk. Confirm that you'll pick up this order. Yes. Looks good. It's just confirming my order. Order received. Ready at 6.23. Well, we all know how reliable and accurate Uber Eats is. Oops. Let me get the chat back up here. Hello, little XO. Cape and Dingwall books. Honk for Johnny. Beautiful that tree is. Don't my food get cold by the time I get home? Well, here is some information for you. I scotch guarded my couch and my apartment. It is probably still very carcinogenic. So the door is open. The purifier is running. And I went out and made a video and live streamed. It's still probably not ready. So who says I am taking it home to eat? Kyle says, I believe there's a cat store coming up across the street. I'll have to keep an eye out for that. She says, how much Scotch Guard did I use? My couch is pretty huge. I, I ordered, or I bought two cans of it. And I used up one entire can. Evolve Travel is here. Where did you move to? APE, two euros for beer. How about a coffee break? But 
Thank you so much for the two euros. Much appreciated. I'm going to hold off on the beer until tomorrow night. I'm seeing an old friend I used to go to high school with. We graduated in 99 and I've only seen him a few times since. And we're going to the annex. So I'll probably bring my camera and make a video going to or from there. Maybe I'll start really far east. North Bay, Sturgeon Falls, town of 10,000. Holy shit. You have really left Toronto. Again, if you're wondering why the audio is a bit different, when I lost my stream earlier, I had to disconnect the wireless mic and it won't reconnect. I've been asking, do I have a favorite beer? No, I tend to try to order beer I haven't had before whenever I go anywhere, but my favorite beer is a cold ass beer. Sal Smith says someone said you were 43. I am. I'm not really one of those snobby beer drinkers. Of course, asking, did I really buy the apartment in Thailand? Go read the comments on that video. John's video. about my age well there's a four and a three in it if you know I graduated in 99 you could probably figure that out Jess says I April fooled her let me check the status of my food enjoying uber eats yes no thanks now it says my order is ready at 6 33 It's all good. This place should have a restroom. King of COD was eight in ninety nine. Wendy says I sound better with this microphone until there is wind and then I sound a whole lot worse with this microphone. So I started my walking journey at Queen and Shooter today. And I walked over to Riverside and then through Leslieville over to Coxwell, then up through Little India, over to Pape. That's cool. Almost at Danforth.
Hulk, if you love cookies, is this bribe you? No, this is Pape and Danforth. We could be at Broadview if I 15 minute power walked it. Time to check the status of my food order. You know, momento por favor. Preparing your order. Six thirty three. Sal Smith, you nailed it. If there is a place that is as good or better than any of the restaurants in Greek town and much cheaper, you better believe I will be supporting it. I've ordered a lot of food from this place, so I'm waiting for them to pick it up. I'm gonna go in there and get it. It's not going to be ready for about 10 minutes. There is Pape Station, so we're going to start winding this one down. Alexandro's is another really good takeout spot here that rivals any of the restaurants. I would have said Messini, but they have really jacked up their prices. Sal Smith says Alexandra's at 1 Young Street. Well, I go to the one in Greektown. I do, Jelly Bean. But on that note, folks, we are done. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. I want to thank our mods for their great work. I want to thank everyone who sent support and super chats. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't yet, and hit that notifica notification bell on your way out. But I think that's about it, eh? Thank you, Vivian. Thank you, Sheena. Channel members, Patreon supporters, and just all the viewers out there. I hope you had an awesome Thursday. I don't know if I'll be going live tomorrow. I'm kind of thinking I won't. But probably Saturday afternoon, if not Sunday afternoon. But that is it. All right. <laughs>